A nonprofit group called Last Chance Intervention hit the streets of Albuquerque today to find a drug addicted person to get treatment at absolutely no charge. KOT Action 7 News reporter Angela Brower was there for it. It is a story you'll only see on 7. Give me one of these bags. Last Chance Intervention wasted no time. Come on, Sandra. The minute the nonprofit got to Albuquerque, they hit the streets looking for people that had hit rock bottom. If I don't take you today, what's going to happen to you? LCI has been in Albuquerque before. They say New Mexico not only has a horrific drug problem, we lack resources. Hey, you guys hungry? That's why this group feels yeah. they were flooded with emails and phone calls after we mentioned on Action 7 News last week that they were coming. We have gotten a, a really big response. After passing out backpacks full of supplies and food to the homeless near First and Gold, you want a backpack? Oh, I need a backpack. LCI heads to the Fourth Street Mall. We want to interview you. Everything is falling apart. It didn't take long to find someone begging for help. I really just want to put it back together. Brianna Gibson tells LCI she has a college education, used to be a paramedic, but then she experimented with prescription pills. Now she's hooked. It's been meth, heroin, marijuana, Xanax. She's been living on the streets and has tried to get help before, but nothing has worked. Grateful that Last Chance Intervention will fund her future in rehab, she says this is her last chance at life. It is scary to just pick up and leave the city, you know, but um, it's exciting. Like, and I am really hopeful. Angela Brower, <laughs> KOAT. Action 7 News. Last Chance Intervention is based out of Prescott. Brianna will now go through detox and rehab. She'll need to get a job. The group plans to return to New Mexico later this year.